And we rent that out to the Allegheny Intermediate Unit. And what's inside, it's a mock apartment. So it has a kitchen and a living room and a bathroom. And they practice life skills and transition skills in, in that building. Next is our golf course. And it's a play on words. It's our no handicap golf course. It's a nine hole par three golf course. And everything is adapted. All of our equipment is adapted. So we use it for golf. And we also use it for as a frisbee golf course. So we're walking into our woods. This is our accessible nature trail that also has our campground down here. And this is where we will set up tents and we'll have our campers, we'll camp out. We have bonfires and we cook mountain pies and roast marshmallows and we have drum circles around the campfire. So this is, we're able to provide a real camping out experience for our participants here. So what you usually would see here in the summer is we'll have three tents that hold eight individuals and we put mattresses in there and so that anybody with any disability can have a camping out experience. You'll also see um, more picnic benches where we do a lot of environmental nature education and crafts down here as well as cooking lessons where we teach them to cook over a campfire. Um, so this is our all accessible nature trail and it goes down and around and we have a lot of scavenger hunts and nature walks and five senses scavenger hunts and that's accessible for all of our participants as well. So this is our archery range and it's a favorite activity because it's not only a physical activity, a lot of our campers find a lot of success while doing archery and it's also one of those recreational independent sports that our individuals can learn and gain exposure to and gain skills in so as they go into their adulthood it's a, it's a favorite activity they can participate in where communication and working in a, in a team environment doesn't, isn't a primary, primarily what you need to do to accomplish this sport. So this is always a favorite. So this is our amphitheater and it's accessible and barrier free. So all of the chairs can go down there. And we use this area to put on skits, do performances, talent shows, things like that. So it's a, it's a nice open outdoor area. So this is upper campus. And this is where we spend um, the other part of our time. And where we're going into next is our dining hall. So this is our dining hall, and this is where we eat all of our meals and do some activities. The way that we've set it up is it's family style. It's not a cafeteria or buffet style, so we work on um, manners, etiquette, and it's also that community feel of sharing a meal with new found friendships that are made here. Hi. So this is our lodge, and in the lodge we have six units that hold eight beds, so we're able to accommodate 48 campers at one time. Everyone has their own area, and as you can see, it's barrier-free. It's completely accessible for all of our participants, no matter what their ability is. Everything is a little bit lower and accessible, so this is where they keep all of their belongings, and they also have, each bed also has a light, so it really promotes independence and a really nice overnight camp experience. So this is a favorite part of the woodlands for our campers. So each unit, which has eight beds, has their own bathroom and showers. Everything is accessible and barrier free, like I said. We provide washer and dryer as well. So we really work on the activities of daily living and promote independence. This area is attached to each unit and this is where the counselor stays so that they are always supervised but given the independence and the privacy so that they can have their own space. So right here behind me, you can see it's our courtyard area, and we use this space um, all the time throughout summer and weekends and evening programming. We can put on field day type activities, relay races. We play a lot of volleyball out here. It's a really nice, safe, accessible environment. Behind me is our therapeutic pool. It stays at 90 degrees and we are able to allow any participant that comes to the woodlands the ability to swim. We have our lift. Like I said, the water stays at 90 degrees. That is a beneficial to different disabilities and especially physical disabilities. We also run adapted aquatics programs. So whether it's water walking, learning swimming skills, or just socializing in a pool environment, we have a different program to meet each person's need. This is our wellness center and we run many different programs out of this facility. A, de a lot of adapted sports programs as well as fitness programs. And the reason why this is such a special place is because we are able to really develop 
programs that prevent secondary conditions to those people with disabilities, expose them to different ways to stay physically active, and not only does it improve their overall health, reduce their secondary conditions, but it improves their quality of life and self-efficacy skills. We also have adapted equipment, like, the, like what you see here, that is able to be used for either your arms or your legs, and it uses the hydropower. So we have lots of different kinds of equipment to meet the needs of different physical disabilities here. So behind me you see our all-purpose sports court and we just got this repaved and lined. We have a track, we have lines for hockey, basketball, tennis. We're starting a lot of new fitness programs and sports oriented programs such as adapted hockey and adapted tennis here. Here at the Woodlands we also provide a lot of evening programs where we focus on socialization skills as well as independence. So as you can see we have a fully adept kitchen and this is where we will work together and not only form those friendships and work on social skills but this is where they create a lot of meals, learn to follow a recipe and really learn um, those pre either pre-employment skills or independent skills to transition into adulthood where they'd be living on their own or in assisted living. And behind me you'll see this is also a space we use a lot. It's a, very, um, it's a very large space that we can transform into a lot of different environments. We, as you can see, we can set up tables and create different activities. We also transform this into our kind of like a nightclub where we have dances on Saturday nights and on our weekend retreats. We also have a piano. We do a lot of music in here. We have the TV that we are able to do different kind of Wii sports and Wii dancing as well as the pool table. So it's a, it's a recreational space that can be transformed into pretty much anything. We also have our indoor fireplace, which is a really nice space. So come the winter months, we do have year-round programming. So our weekend retreats run every single weekend of the year from September to May. And when it's very snowy outside, we're still able to have that camp experience in our fireplace inside the activity center. All right, so we also have a computer lab here at the Woodlands that we use to really bridge technology into our activities. We also are able to provide assisted technology, which is very important to make sure that everybody of any ability can access the computer lab and bring technology into their lives. All right, let's start. Behind me is a building which we call the Jewel in the Woods. It's our meditation and spirituality center. As you can see when you first walk up, you see the water. As you go in, there's a fireplace, so you have water and fire. There's beautiful windows that look out and you see the earth, and skylights where you see the sky. In the middle, there's a, there's a lot of symbolism. There's a tree. There's a pillar that looks like a tree that stands for strength. So what we usually use this building for is a lot of reflection and goal setting and celebration of everything our participants can do and can achieve. It's a very special building.